It's our assumption uh, that the Senecas are going to make the payments in a timely manner. The Seneca Nation has been told they have to pay up the, uh, to cover those casino operations. The Seneca stopped paying casino money when they signed their, and they said their contract with the state was complete. News Force Rachel Monjovi got reaction from city and tribal leaders tonight. We feel very uh, you know, thankful for this uh, result. I think that this uh, takes a burden off of us that we've been bearing for uh, some time. For Niagara Falls city leaders, it's a sigh of relief. For years, they've relied on casino revenue payments to balance the city's budget, but it's been almost two years since they were paid. Tonight, arbitrators ordered the Seneca Nation to pay back all casino revenue. We've gotten a breather here. We've gotten a wake-up call here. It's time for us to get really serious really quick. Niagara Falls City Council members say the city has mismanaged casino payments in the past. This new opportunity for payments in the future gives the city another chance. We still need to tighten our belts, buckle down the straps, make very responsible and smart decisions with this money once it comes through. It's unclear how much money the Seneca Nation will be required to pay back the state. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister says he expects a lump sum, but he did not specify in amount. Mayor Byron Brown says he expects to receive close to $17 million. I would um, suspect that it will work with the state's fiscal year, uh, which will be good timing for the city of Buffalo uh, and will come into the city according to our budgetary projections. Salamanca Mayor Mike Smith says he's anticipating about $12 million. Seneca President Ricky Armstrong dismissed the panel's ruling. In a statement, he said, we continue to believe, as anyone who has read the compact, that the nation's compact payment obligation was fulfilled. The compact expires in 2023. In the meantime, it's not known when payments will begin flowing again. Rachel Monjovi, News 4.